speaking of environmentalists, I came to uh, a revelation the other day that the reason I think climate change and global warming is all real, but it's a good thing. And the reason the elites don't want global warming and climate change is because it will melt the ice walls in Antarctica mm. and will set us free. Make it accessible. Yes. So mm. global warming is actually a good thing for that reason. And there's not going to be any actual like negative effects of it. And it's just all psyops for that. You need, you need to be carbon maxing. Yeah. Like, <laughs> we need carbon. to all do our part. Yeah. We need to create, we need to have accelerationism for global warming and climate think- change. Everything we watch today is filled with predictive programming and hidden truths. In this second part of our discussion with Drew Tang, we discuss hidden truths and predictive programming in series such as One Piece, Halo, Marvel movies, Stranger Things, and more, as well as the best case for Christianity, lost civilizations and technology, and shit posting about the FTX scandal. These episodes were edited to be watched in any order, so please check out part one after this episode, link in the description below. I think the only, there's only two countries that are that have any kind of agency, uh, and it's uh, the US and Japan, and anime is them is the Asian attempt of escaping the, the Chinese global homo. So they start doing shit like Hunter Hunter and talking about there being uh, ex- the world bigger than you think. And yeah. they start dropping based uh, tidbits. I mean, look at One Piece. One Piece mm. is quite literally the closest thing we have in fiction to the truth of the world. Bro, I've been no. trying to tell people about One Piece being based for so long. No one ever wants yeah. to listen to me. It I'm is. Like, it's, one Piece it's, is the most, based. It's, it's the most base piece of media out there. Imagine and- the fact that they made a magic system that's literally the will to power. And yeah. it's, it's like literal free will. The more free will you have, the more the stronger you are. They Everything about game. the hierarchy in it mm-hmm. to void century. Yeah, yeah, void century. They have the whole Oda's void trying century. to wake people up. It's literally one to one. Oda is taking every conspiracy theory that's real and is like, yo, I'm gonna tell people the whole truth of the world. I've uh-huh. realized it, and I'm gonna create the greatest piece of fiction of all time. But people that's don't what listen. one piece is. I, bro, I'm telling you, I've been trying to thank you. Yeah. By the end of by the end of One Piece, that will be confirmed to be the great. You've been saying peak fiction for Eververse, and you're right Mm -hmm. because One Piece will free everyone. If you listen, if you watch One Piece or read One Piece, and you're looking at that, and it's like, all right, this is the truth of the world right here, and you take it as a pretty as pretty much close to a fictionalized one to one, then you'll understand the world. Simple as. Bro, this is one of the few the few things that even Logo and I agreed on. Logo read One Piece recently. He's been like pilled. He's like, oh shit, this shit is fucking crazy. Have you I'm read it, Drew? I read One Piece up to like Arlong. Is that the fucking? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. you got yeah, super like early. Where first Nami was chapters. getting like bl- sexually blackmailed or whatever. Yeah, she was. She was like, Drew, you, I, I promise you, it will become your favorite anime manga of all time. It's the only thing I know it's really good. I it's know the it's only really thing good. the top Dragon Ball for me. Dragon Ball Bro, was he my puts number in so one. Much, he just really does put in for real, like, he for real puts in like legitimate, like, lore, like, yeah. world lore of the world, world of the of real the world. world. Yeah. And like, it's very subtle. It's subtle if you don't know what he's re- referencing, but he's like referencing real shit. You're like, oh, goddamn. Okay, but, but then you even got the guys yeah, like nice. O'Hara on YouTube. And he put out like an, uh, a video recently. I'm like, oh, you're you're woke to this shit too. Let's go. Like you understand <laughs> that Oda's speaking the truth of the world. Man. So I, hold on, I just want to bring this up real quick because it's in my area of expertise. The new Dragon Ball Z movie, James, the yes. mm-hmm. the uh, red ribbon guy. Yeah. What did they turn the red ribbon company into? It was a pharmaceutical yeah, company. Yeah. company. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, it was a pharmaceutical company. It was literally, it's literally like, hey, you know the Nazis, the Red <laughs> Ribbon Army. Yep. Guess uh-huh. what we turned them into? Oh, oh shit. pharmaceutical companies. Oh, oh it's like the pharmaceutical companies. Oh wait. Oh, they created Agent Orange. They were fucking uh-huh. originating in Nazi Germany. They were consolidated by fucking Rockefeller into IG Farben. Totally yeah, so anyways, face. that was the most recent movie. Like, they literally, I was like, what? I couldn't believe it when I was in the theater. It's like, oh, big. yeah, Toriyama the Red Ribbon Army one. is now a pharmaceutical company. That's how they're uh-huh. projecting their Toriyama wrote that whole storyline, too. Like, it's great. Toriyama it, gives you, like, just character models. He wrote that storyline. He's based as hell, too. It, it's crazy because, like, America is just all fucking propaganda goy slop. And then Japan 
is so based <laughs> with everything they put out. Like they're like Japan's like I don't give like all these manga cow. They're like I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna like be based as hell. Well, like, here's the thing though: they could they could do that. Yeah, though. yeah, they could do that because of the their their form of um. They're fighting against the Chinese uh, half of the global homo. So they, yeah. the things that they could talk about publicly are things that like we can't talk about publicly, right? And they're like, oh, that makes perfect sense because it's like perspective, right? Yeah. You go, oh, it's like this is the shit that the U.S. has to deal with. And then we could talk about like, oh, this is what China is doing. And then they have to kind of like, and then we can, you can piece it together if you know what the deal is. But like they're dealing with the eastern half of the same shit. Yeah. And to some degree, like they're also doing it too, but Japan's a little bit based. I don't know. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a little complicated. But there's a reason why they're also not like reproduce, reproducing. They're they're doing the hikikomori thing. They're just fucking people are just killing themselves. It's, it's I know. I still them. gotta write up and do a video on how spy families propaganda to get uh, Japanese citizens to breed. So funny about Japan is too like they also have a really high rate of STDs, but like for like really? teenagers, yeah, really, like, teenagers will just like. Like people just stop having sex around like somewhere. Like the people who do fuck, they fuck like degenerate. They're just degenerates, right? There's like yeah. a ten, there's like a very small population. There's, there's like people who know they're not gonna like get to college because their college admissions are super hard. And if you don't get into college, you don't get into like workforce. Yeah. So those people are like fucking crazy. And they have insane amount of like they're just getting all kinds of shit. And then everyone else is like barely like socializing and never going outside. So that's it's, it's so funny. Wild. You would think yeah. that they would just fuck so much if they're that super degenerate and be like, all right, we're going to save the Japanese race. No, nah, yeah, there's not enough of them. <laughs> they're also like, yeah, it's, just, it's tough. Yeah, their whole system is pretty rough. Nathan, so, for you type style, be like, the plan, make Japan more degenerate so they fuck each other nonstop. I actually, I, I kind of, I should go to Japan. I got to check it out. But like, I'm not like, a, I'm, like a, I'm not really a weeb. I'm just like into anime. Like, I'm like, they can say shit that other people, that we can't. That's the only thing I like. But, Motherfucker, you're trying to say you ain't a weeb. Fuck off. I'm not a weeb. I'm a, <laughs> I'm a otaku. I'm just big. The, they're the same thing. They're the same thing. <laughs> otaku. Don't I'm not black. It. I'm African American. <laughs> black people can't be weebs. <laughs> they can't be weebs. Black, like being being a weeb is just part of black culture. People don't it understand is. that. Yeah, yeah like black people yeah. love anime. It's been known. Yeah. If you don't love anime, you're not black. Simple yeah. as. <laughs> <laughs> Was that a Joe uh, Biden that, quote? That's a Joe Biden yeah. quote. Dude, how could anyone not want to believe in Christ? That dude was making free wine and bread and fish. Like, what more do you want from someone? He's making sure you fucking eat good, get drunk. Yeah. He's catering all the parties. Exactly. Yeah. Like, Jesus. Why would you not like worship the guy that's like catering your parties out of thin air? <laughs> that's the guy. That's the guy I want to believe in. He's not. Asking, better, he's not asking. Better anything. come back with a full pickle juice. That's all I'm saying. Jesus wasn't asking anything bad out of you. He was just asking you to do good. And Jesus he was like, "Yeah, here's some fish. Base, and, here's some fish. Here's some bread. Here's some wine." Devil's like. I'll touch your cock if you give me your soul. <laughs> <laughs> like, fuck that, dude. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that dude's red as hell. What the fuck is this blood pressure? I ain't giving <laughs> you my soul to touch my cock. I'll do that myself. <laughs> Jesus is like, yeah, be a good person. Worship my dad. Here's some bread, wine, and fish. Let's have You're fun. Chilling. Yeah. Jesus was a whole ass vibe. It was a whole ass vibe. Another hard hitting podcast. Jesus this was a the vibe podcast. master. They weren't ready. For, people weren't ready for the for the truth. Jesus was the, the vibe master this whole time. Dude, that's why atheists have no vibe possible. They actually did. Yeah, they do be vibeless. Yeah, my man was flipping flipping money changers. At, uh, he was kicking the money changers out the temple, and y'all and mm -hmm. what are y'all doing? It's <laughs> so funny because like the best case for being Christian or Catholic or any of those denominations is just like spending 15 minutes with an atheist. <laughs> <laughs> like you spent 15 Log minutes on to with Reddit an one time. Oh, he's got the pickle juice. Yeah. Cheers, buddy. You spent 15 yeah. minutes with an atheist. It's like, I don't want to be associated with this guy. <laughs> you motherfuckers well, ironically, will, that's what motherfuckers will being, worship like, Jesus out of spite honestly, to not be I mean associated so with them. I, mean, Dude, that's stopped, I stopped being an atheist for that reason alone. I was like, this is who I'm, this is my team. This is, this is my team. I'm, tra I'm getting traded. 
<laughs> I'm trying to Dude, that's the other thing. If you want to talk about like SBF and Revelation 3.9, which look it, up. That's the <laughs> look, look it up for the, look it up. the fans at home. <laughs> if you say you're a Jew, but you don't practice the religion and you're just having orgies and with 10 of your closest friends in your little penthouse, oh. then you're Ooh, doing so the big. opposite. <laughs> you're off. You're the opposite of everything that your religion states. So therefore, you're not what you say you are. And I mean, Bears, what, what is Revelation 3.9? No, Behold, yeah. I will make them a, of the synagogue of Satan, which they say which say they are hat people, tiny hat people, and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them come and worship before they fate, before thy feet. And to know that I have loved thee. Exactly. Christian's win of the end. I, I saw this one recently where, you know, <laughs> these these are all. Uh, Patriots in control is what, yeah. is what, is what that means. They're Patriots fake, in control. fake tiny hat people LARPing as tiny hat people. You know, this is actually a real thing, though. Uh, I can't. I wish I could say who's the one who told, put me on to this about the um, how there's like a, the fake tiny hat people versus the real tiny hat people. Yeah. Fuck and her. I was like, wow, that's kind of deep, though. Her, but her it's mom real. It's, it's yeah, real. Yeah. You could crush like at least like thirty percent of anti ceramicism overnight. <laughs> ceramic. Anti ceramicism. Yeah. Yeah. Smashing ceramic. The modality. Ceramic. You can smash thirty percent of the ceramic uh, vases and jars and shit overnight. <laughs> like if you just reveal that many of these people are larping as tiny hats. Well, this is the thing with all the hats. religions, though. There's a lot of people. I mean, that's the whole thing with, like, even um, fucking um, ISIS and shit. They're not even... Did yeah. you know? They did a whole study um, that I've, I get, got buried. They did a study, like, some someone who's actually a real journalist, who probably got killed for being a real journalist, went to the Middle East, did full-ass fucking, like, um, a census with a bunch of, like, um, people from ISIS and stuff. And did a full questionnaire and like the whole psych eval, and almost none of them were like metaphysically uh, Islam. They just used the rhetoric for their political yeah. thing. That's how it is with like, all like, these people. Yeah, Every single and, one of them. yeah. Yep. the Saudis, the mm -hmm. Vatican, the yeah. Israelis. Fucking our fucking... They all do the exact opposite of what they say. Yeah, and which none makes of them, them believe it. Yeah, which makes them not what they say. And it makes them the opposite of what they say, which yeah. is Revelation 3 9. Yeah. Look it yes. up, kids. Yes. So, which, if which you're, makes if you're fucking, it's, it's, if it's you're us versus the... on the beanbags of your Bahama office with six other people, then that mm -hmm. means you're not Jewish. You're something else. Yeah. Yeah. Simple. The, it's almost, it's almost obvious that if you might not be the thing you proclaim, if you're doing the, the, the tiny opposite. hats <laughs> are not the issue. The issue is the people LARPing as the tiny hats and mm. then using that to deflect all sorts of criticism. Yes. And, and I know, all... uh, here's the other thing. I just want to say this real quick. I've got a lot of Jews in my life that I mm -hmm. love so much. Same. Some of the we most, even, even above the stereotypes, they are some of the most generous people I know. The the Jews in my life have given me so much value. They've done so much for me, selfless. Mm -hmm. They're always like, they've always been out for my best interest. But listen, the same problem happens everywhere. We're all, we're all, it's, 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 it's the same battle we're all facing. It's the demonic, satanic, uh, reptilian elite versus everybody else. We all been new. And if you talk to anyone on the street, they all agree with you. You don't, it's not like I have to convince people that what Kanye's saying on the street or like what everyone's saying like about anything they're almost always like yeah that makes perfect sense i agree whereas you know the rhetoric of course is different because they gotta make it seem like there's everyone agrees with the consensus but in reality we all know what the real deal is it's always been everyone versus the evil people in charge and there's no point in convincing anyone and i've been, I've been a part of this uh thought process for years now where it's just you don't convince. You don't try to convince anyone to bring them to your side. You just strengthen mm -hmm. your own tribe. Yeah, uh, true, I, true. I remember. You just keep that, doing. You keep doing your thing, and yeah. you'll be proven right in the end. I remember yeah. hearing that from like Master Chim back in like 2015 or some shit like that, where you don't you don't convince any of these people. They'll be convinced on their own if mm -hmm. they're really worthy. You can't and, change anyone's mind. You can't. Yeah. 
You wait no, for you the, the, you everyone wait has for, to unplug for the matrix themselves. You, you wait, yeah, exactly. Unplug from the matrix, or you wait for their fucking NPC Wojak to start cracking, and then that's when you hit them with esoteric knowledge. Once once that's they start cool. breaking from the mm. simulation is when you strengthen your own tribe and your own will to fight against evil. But until then, you can't convince anyone that's all that's still brainwashed that's just a waste of time there's no reason to do it true mm-hmm. it's true and you can't and also i I'd also i feel like you can um uh, increasingly you can tell via subtle hints when people are like saying things they need to say to keep their job versus like saying things they agree with i feel like there's like a tone or like a few like phrasing that you're like oh, okay you're, you're probably based yeah. you know what's up i always He's, like trying to figure out who's low-key based I do really, I just, I, you know what's so funny? Have you noticed that, like, this is just my favorite, the funniest thing to me now is that how they, like, are, like, pretending that the vaccine didn't happen. <laughs> you ever, you know, oh, yeah, they're just that? trying to all, like, fucking gaslight us hard with that Bro, shit. Bro, they're like, well, nobody really forced you to. They just no said you lose your job. The, and, like, New York re- uh, made it, called it unconstitutional, and they're, like, reinstating people's jobs, but it's, like, two years with later. Back, like, with back pay. With back pay, though. yeah. And no worries, like, Mayor Adams is fighting it still. And like, you know, and like also like people, but it's so funny because like you go to like the CDC now, now they have ivermectin as a cure. They have, it's just like, of course, it's, it's like on the fucking website. Like, yeah, uh, that's, and that's I think how the, FDX, FDX, works. FDX like, funded it, it the flips. main, mm-hmm. FDX funded the main study that like showed ivermectin was ineffective. Really? Is, yeah. Of course. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Sam Bankman Fried is coming to kill you. Yeah. In the of course. Yeah. No. Of course, Sam Bankman. Oh wait, what'd you say? What'd you say at the end there? <laughs> His mic shut off. <laughs> no, in real life. <laughs> you know what's so funny? So we I will say one thing. On. We gotta get him on, dude. So I found out something new. The reason why Sam's a vegan. Did you know this? Is because. That drug he's on, that patch, that NSAM, it can kill people uh, every once in a while for eating meat. Oh, yeah. I, I, I heard that yesterday. Yeah. I was like, uh, no what? shit. What? Yeah. Oh, that's How stim- the fuck does that, that work? Stim- patch, yeah. SBS? It has oh, every once in a while. It's like a low percent chance. Maybe like 2 to 5%, something like that. But if that you shit, meat, it kills people. It's the- crazy how dysgenic it made him look in that yeah. small amount of time. He was skinny. Whatever the fuck. Oreos Dude, he looked and... normal. He used How to look normal. Fat vegan? Well, yeah, he was on like, Adderall. It's, it's <laughs> like seed that's oils. hard mode. Going, getting obese on Adderall. Like this man it's must very have been yeah. chowing straight Caroline pussy and Big Macs. <laughs> <that> fucking get, <laughs> fucking get Oreos that and French fries. Yeah, like, unreal, <laughs> dude. But like, dude. have you have you seen those video clips of him being interviewed? Like, he's fucking like stimming out like Hitler oh, at yeah. the Berlin Olympics. Oh, he's been, <laughs> like, he's been, he's been him. <laughs> Yeah. He's off the <laughs> shit, bro. Dude, how do you have that much money and you somehow managed to find the ugliest woman alive without like a real genetic deformity? Nah, she's the queen. You read her Tumblr? Yeah, we don't, we don't, we don't slander to Caroline. No, yeah, Why, she what's, is what was her base, Tumblr actually? She's a little she bit basic. A lot of very, some like, in there. kinky little posts. Like, she, she was talking about like uh, higher, there's no Chinese one based Arabs. in a polycule. No, she's yeah. been talking about like no, 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 no. She doesn't even believe in polycules. She's like, I need, I want a harem of people competing for my affection. She's like, well, she's like, I believe in Chinese fucking um harems. She's yeah. like, kind of, she's pretty. Ooh, big. Okay. She's got face. She was, she was like, my 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 ideal type of guy that I'm attracted to controls most major world governments. Oh yeah, <laughs> we fuck with Caroline now. We're like, okay, wait a second. Wait, guys. Are you telling me that Sam Bankman Fried had no he didn't want he didn't like Biden, bro? He just wanted that two out of ten pussy. No, he, he was just trying about. to impress two out of ten pussy. Listen, this is gone given a lot of fuel to someone gonna do a shot friends. with me. Someone gonna I have do a shot. Gin. I just have shin. Gin. All right, there's gotta be like some sort of like theory behind like why these billionaires fuck and date the most disgusting women possible. It's like does does having that Black much man. money just corrupt your mind in such a way that you're like no oh, no, no I'm, I'm, I'm ugly i can't get decent looking pussy i'm just gonna well, i'm just gonna is, fuck this two out of ten no listen to get to like the point of being a billionaire you have to be so mentally like uh insane clo- no not insane but like very like single-minded yeah that like you don't even de- like develop like the social skills that would you know kind of scale you 
So the second they get money, they're like, okay, I did what I was supposed to do. And they meet the first girl and they're like, this girl is hotter than the girl I would have been able to get when I was broke. And then they're like, found him. Wait, imagine Sam saying that. <laughs> I mean, probably though, realistically. Oh. It's not you like, know, the prob- like swag. Sam before he like got bit <clears throat> shits and fat and shit. He was like a normal looking guy. He was just normal yeah, looking 20, Jewish like, looking uh, dude. Big Max taking money from uh, Arthur uh, Sam was kind of sw- had like a normal dude swag. Like he looked like a normal, like scrawny, you know, Jufro mm-hmm. kind of guy. Nothing like nothing super. Listen, he could have had a fucking, yeah. he could have had a solid that, that like 10 out of 10 fun. Asian girl. Yeah. He could have oh had a solid. God, yeah. He could have the hottest With all Asian the girl simulants. The With all the simulants, he still got fat. That's insane. That's That blows my mind. Getting Dude, fat on Adderall is crazy. If, if you were, like, ugly, if you were an ugly white or white, guy in sam's case um yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and you have that much money and you're not bagging like fucking at least seven out of ten asian pussy i don't know what's fucking wrong yeah, what are you doing it's you're easy, wasting it's easy mode like what are you doing no, there's no reason to be settling for two was out of tens. he could have <laughs> we could have marched into china it. and married a fucking chinese royalty whatever i don't yeah. know whatever fucking political we should have been have. living in a golden <laughs> age Bitcoin would be at fucking a hundred thousand if Sam Banks just got a fucking haircut. There's like no reality where Caroline should have even been an option for him because like <laughs> Caroline's so ugly and hideous. She could, like God would have never chosen her to be the Virgin Mary. That's like the only like way I could have been like imagine like Sam was not Jewish and he was like believed in Christ and whatnot and God's like yeah this is uh the new Virgin Mary she's gonna birth Jesus. Sam would be like wait a minute. You did not know what you're Ashton Kutcher. Are you God? Is this punked? There's no way the Virgin Mary looks like this. Listen, Which would never happen. Pro Car- we're pro Car- She's not that bad. I've seen worse. No, oh my. I've seen worse. Oh, I've seen oh, worse. She, she, is, <laughs> she, she has listen, the ugly. All right, listen. Caroline the has the ugliest that face you could possibly have without being like <laughs> Elephant Man tier. Or yeah. like obese lizard. Yeah, I'm saying she could be, be fatter. Bad. Like, I'm saying she could be like really. She's fat. not obese and she's not elephant man. But besides those two I'm things, making. she's as ugly as can. If be. she was 500 pounds, listen, you know bears you know would still hit that. <laughs> Did you see my thread, bro? My poll. No, verse had, versus no, black. Bro. He would like it more if she was fat. Yeah, a little bit. He's <laughs> on, on my poll. She's a break. She's a battle pog. She's five eight. He's on my poll though. I had four thousand votes. Caroline barely squeaked out. I'm not. We're not the only one out here. I refuse to vote <laughs> in that one. But the fact that and 4, not 000... even just because I'm wait, a, wait, wait, essentially wait, wait. a married what was man. The alternative. Of oh, Greta, Greta, thumb, thumb, Greta. Thumb, Greta. Oh my god. I did Greta oh, versus man. Caroline. Greta's got that grippy though. <laughs> she does got the grippy exactly. <laughs> I would have picked Greta personally. That's just me, respectfully. But <laughs> you know, thousand people first all about that retarded pussy. <laughs> gun, gun to my head. If I had to choose between the two of them, I'm gonna find out what lead tastes like. <laughs> <laughs> Greta got the grippy, is all I'm saying. Anyway, there is like four thousand people voted, which is so funny to me. Like I'm, I've disgusting! never had a I've never had a poll that popular. I'm just I'm like, all right, I respect that everyone was like, I gotta take, I gotta take my claim. I wonder how the results would have varied if you put uh, just show results for one of the options. You can't. You don't get. A, you don't get that out. I don't. I know. You. That's why I refuse to vote. I'm like, I'm not participating. You in know what's so funny though? With that poll is like, it was fucking swinging. I've never seen a poll like swing wildly in both directions <laughs> for thousands of votes. Just, just confusion. No one could. Like, it just never settled on anything. I, I promise. If I, if I like left it for longer than 24 hours, it might have. It might have went back to 50 50. Yeah, there were there were some suspicious uh uh vote ballot drops coming in mm-hmm. from Maricopa <laughs> County. A little yeah, bit of a little like, bit of mail-in voting on big that. Big swings in there, yeah. We did some counting after 3 a.m. and you know, yeah, a water pipe busted. So <laughs> all right, Drew Tank. Yeah, final- so much. Uh, yeah, when they started doing the whole like uh smallpox uh, being found in different labs, uh in philadelphia oh, it, it just mm. randomly in like the back closet it was like oh we got some smallpox <laughs> we found some smallpox what's up with that what's up with that we're gonna throw this on yahoo news and then go, like they did that and then they did the time in his backyard he found aids that he buried in 1979 <laughs> <laughs> he buried Ooh, it early original recipe Ooh, original original recipe. recipe. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, he, well, he, he, he returns I'm sure to the my friends house, in the West Village and Chelsea it. will love yeah. this. The 23 herbs and spices. No, the fucking my friends in San Francisco are gonna love this one. The monkey. I'm headed back to the bathhouse to see how it all happens. Bro, oh, the other thing that blew my fucking mind is that like they pick Fauci, who like literally is the one who suppressed the whole like bath, like he suppressed the whole bathhouse thing, and like the fact that there's like a uh the multiple uh aspects of the AIDS pandemic. Like he he was like um he got promoted for suppressing a lot of like actual information about how to about HIV and AIDS. And then they fucking hired the exact same team for COVID. And I just remember posting, like, I cannot, I mean, like, I cannot believe they hired the same fucking team. And, like, even if you don't believe in any kind of conspiracies regarding the, the situation, like political motivations, 60% of gay men died in, like, five years. Like, literally 60%. Um, so it's like, okay, it's like, you know, if you're going to pick a fucking team, that's not me. <laughs> How would you pick a better fucking team? <laughs> That's the worst win loss average I've ever seen in my life. The uh, um, you saw the Matthew McConaughey movie. Um, uh, That's, your, Dallas Dallas Club. Club. That's your movie, bro. Is yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Doctor Fauci is the enemy in that movie. Oh, really? Doctor Fauci is the actual bad guy. Wait, oh, I'm in, it, in do they undeniably. Name him? Yeah, they do. No, the, no, bro. No. I used to post, but pictures. undeniably, it's him. I used to post there's pictures. There's no one else in that in that time. That would make yeah. sense. It's on. I used to post morning. pictures of gay people riding against Fauci, saying like, "You're killing yeah. us, Fauci. Mm-hmm. You're like, killing us, Fauci. Fauci." Yeah. Yeah. Fauci was like supporting like dumb shit, like, "Oh, take a, a vitamin C injection," and like it was like, and it was like, "Don't close the bathhouses. Take a vitamin C injection." Like he was doing like, yeah, keep like, like, the like, Don't shit. don't close the bathhouses because he had to do a personal investigation of them. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Fauci was trying to get fucking shit. raped. How Dr. Fauci went to the bathhouses to see how the pandemic was really going. Yeah, and it's like the it's fucking, so and like, imagine, I mean, like, I was, you know, it's just, it's been, it's right in front of your face. You know, it's like, from day one, I was like, this is fucking, the second, I, the reason why I was on, like, this is a psyop from day one is when they were like, Fauci's in charge. I was like, all right, all right, uh, this is what we're doing. This is what, this is what we're doing. <laughs> this is, this yeah, is the plan. I mean- Prior to that, I, I knew nothing about fucking Fauci. I don't believe in San Francisco. That's the worst place on the planet. It's literally hell on earth. But I still have to deal with them because of tech. It, it's the city with the golden gate. You know, that's how they that's how they refer to Atlantis was the city with the golden gate. Oh, shit. Which is destroyed because of opulence. It's like Tower of Babel type stuff. But yeah, it's oh, wow. literally Atlantis was called a city with a golden gate. So it's like the exact same thing. Like it is when people t- compare it to Sodom and Gomorrah. And that's yeah. like another good example of the, the curve. Uh-huh. It is low IQ. Oh, San Francisco, Sodom, Gomorrah. Yeah. Middle of the IQ curve. Oh, no, that's just a stupid comparison to the Bible. Bottom of the, or, you know, farthest IQ curve. Sodom, uh, it's, it's literally Sodom and Gomorrah. Yeah. It's, li- it's literally Sodom and Gomorrah. It's like the worst yeah. place literally on the planet. I don't care what anyone says. And, and like, I mean, it's not like geologists disagree that if, you know, if we hit like a cataclysmic point of earthquakes and like the earth crust shift, if, if the earth's crust shifts at all, that whole part, California is just falling off the side. It's of fucking the gone, yeah. Bye, 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 yeah, bye, bye. 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 <laughs> It's California fucking gone. wiped right off the map. And I can't wait until the um, I can't wait until that gets canonized and then that becomes part of the Bible in like 150 years. We're like, oh yeah, uh, we tried. They did the Tower of Babel again, and God removed it from the earth. There, there was something I was reading. <laughs> Matt Walsh, other- 316. <laughs> <laughs> there was something I was reading the other day where like earthquakes are uh, like giants trying to like come back from the ice walls or some shit like that. I don't remember You're exactly. too far into schizo Twitter, buddy. Dude, I'm, I'm, <laughs> dude, I've been going so off the deep end. I've been going so off the deep end. It's it's tempting, buddy. I mean, I, I've, I I've been like trying. Stone. I've been trying to pull myself back into reality, so I'm not completely black pilled that everything in the movie industry is satanic demons, and that there's some glimmer of hope. As someone that likes to create and make films and no, stuff there's like a, there's that, a, there's a glimmer of hope. There's a glimmer. There's well, always the a thing is, hope. there always has to be what. Well, so here's the thing: on the external, there's always going to be a hundred percent, or rather, fifty fifty light and dark. Like they'll be mm. like, oh, oh, light's winning. Oh, dark's winning. Oh, I can be happy about this. Oh, I yeah. should be sad about this. 
but in reality it's all internal it's like you know utopia is an internal state that's what all the none of the sure. utopian works are ever finished like plato's Critias, timaeus mm. where he talks about atlantis he stops the 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 work is incomplete it the the book doesn't finish as soon as he's about to talk about atlantis's laws the book stops and it's the same thing with francis bacon's new atlantis he stops before the before he can properly describe the utopia because it doesn't exist so mm. at any time it's all about your internal state and you can create utopia sure. for yourself but the out as much as you try to give the rest of humanity a chance they're never going to do it and that's that's part of the reason why we have the declaration of independence mm -hmm. in america what america proves is you can give the people all the power and they'll still eventually concede it to a to an authoritarian government and it'll fall apart even if you give mm -hmm. them every power or you know maybe maybe it'll work out in a different way Listen, this is what the angels told me on LSD. They're, they told me that, you know, this, this is the same exact thing. You can be God. You can experience utopia. You just have to choose to, you just have to choose to live in, you know, live in the light. You don't have to even, it's just a, it's just a mental choice. It happens immediately. They, people talk about bad trips. You can literally just stop a bad trip instantly. If once you choose to not have a bad trip. But like, why are you saying that Atlantis does exist? It uh, might. Well, yeah. Yeah. No, I, I mean, it did. It yeah, did, yeah. and yeah. Uh, and it was probably like I mean, it was pretty fucking dope from what I can tell. They built fucking dope ass shit like the pyramids. That's amazing. Yeah, mm -hmm. like that was sick as shit. No, we can't do that. We wouldn't. <laughs> we Dude, fucking retards we really won. out here being like, oh, Egyptians built the pyramids. Aliens built the pyramids. No, they didn't. You fucking. Retards. If it was so easy, do it again. Do yeah. it again. Yeah. Just do it again. With that precision. That you're better. With Do that precision? Are you, you kidding can't. me? You can't. On the fucking, the, on the same belt that uh that the pyramids of fucking South America are? That same, uh, yeah, uh, yeah come on. So. Oh, yeah, you're going to tell me? Center, you're going to tell me we're more advanced now mass. than what we were back then? Are you kidding me? Fuck out of <laughs> here. And the pyramids we see right now, the, the thing is they're so majestic and it's not even clear. Not even the correct ones. Were. The limestone's even, gone. Yeah, the, the limestone's gone. gone, the capstone's gone, the fucking area's a desert instead of being a fucking lush forest like it was 13,000 uh -huh. years ago. Like, the, what we even see today is not even close to what it once was. And people were still, still shook. Like, <laughs> like, oh, yeah. Well, and that's the funniest part, too, is I love this because it's the excuse for everything, but they're like, what? Saying that it wasn't slaves? That's racist. <laughs> you're, saying, <laughs> you're saying that they couldn't have built it with slaves? Are you telling me black people couldn't have made that? Are you kidding me? <laughs> black people can do anything they put their minds to, okay? It's white people that could have never built the pyramids, all right? Get it right. Well, no, that's the same thing, though. Is If they are saying that it was black people who built the pyramids, then they're still saying that black people built it with slaves. And that yeah. also doesn't work. It doesn't like, work either. It's, it's like fun. Woman King. That was a Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Was Woman King, I should have watched it? that. I still kind of want to watch that. Verse, I, verse thank, I thank your ancestors for building the pyramids for us. <laughs> Listen, that was your cube. For that my ancestors. The cube we built the pyramids king. and he made white people. He made he built the pyramids and made white people. It was all your cube. Hell I'm yeah. telling you both sides which i you know i'm viewing both of these communities like a black israelites which i think are pretty dope in the hotaps like got mad yeah. respect for them we like i mean them, anybody who respects us. their ancestors so much that they think they're the best by far and responsible for all the good things on earth i'm not gonna fucking fall that's you. super base that's lit that's yeah. lit yeah. yeah i mean i would <laughs> love to do the same yeah. thing like yeah that's awesome Ho hotaps just mog most white people they do like so many white people are like oh my god my ancestors were <laughs> <laughs> evil. The, the chad hotep is just like yes white people yes we're, we the were the ones with slaves that built the pyramids that was us <laughs> yes <laughs> that's what they want to claim white people want. could have never built that <laughs> <laughs> we were selling the slaves they could have never built that <laughs> we build that we build that i love uh, but yeah no there's like 
I do also, but the, even the crazy part is even like them, uh, everyone's always like the pyramid and shit. They were here, not the pyramid, but like the Sphinx is what they say typically. Like the Sphinx was here when we got here. You know, like there's a lot, or like the, uh, even the, uh, was it Serpent Mound? The, the natives were like, it was already here. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. I mean? it was like, already ancient. It was already, it was already ancient, ancient when we got here. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or like yeah. Uh, the Amazon shit. Like, it's like, yeah, like, no, yeah, we, we showed up. Yeah, was, the pyramids in, in Mexico and yeah. South America. Yeah. Exactly. You're like, no, no, you don't, you don't, you don't mean that. You don't understand. No, like, no, I promise. I feel like this yeah. episode is like our equivalent of Kanye on Drink Champs. Oh, yeah. yes, it is. We're so, this episode cannot be. There's aired. a million reasons to get canceled. <laughs> that we're not even gone, of, dude. Because we drank one too many pickle juices and throughout the throughout the event, we recording we, for like we, we went full mask off. We we're like re- All right, recording we're for three hours, and the YouTube cuts thirty minutes. Oh yeah, we're not going to talk about this on YouTube, right? Oh, Absolutely yeah, not. We're going to cut it. Oh, in that case, I agree hundred <laughs> percent. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Oh, okay. This is not going to be aired. Perfect. Yeah. I, I'm going to sell this episode so hard for people to subscribe it. on Gum, Gum Road because this is honestly the, the uncut of this is just, it's so good. Yeah. No, you, so, this is a sell. This is a sell episode. Yeah. This this is, I don't, I need to like sell people hard on this because this is like the absolute, like this is, this is peak MJ Ultra money. <laughs> <laughs> is, the earth, is the earth flat? I think it's a Taurus. It's a donut. I'm telling you. Uh, it would feel I, locally gonna, flat. If it's a I'm Taurus. I'm answer any questions like that until somebody just fly me over Antarctica. Just take Dude, me I a plane. That. Dude, that... Fly me over Antarctica and I'll answer all your questions certainly. I'll give I you like an that. exact answer. Listen, if it's a Taurus. Until then, I'm not going to say shit. If it's a Taurus, it would seem locally flat and it also would have a hollow center. And that would prove that would you know all the theories would be correct simultaneously i'm telling you it's a donut it's it's, hollow earth. it's flat and hollow at the same time because you have yeah it's a don't so if yeah. like a donut would have the curvature of yeah. the planet it yeah. would feel flat to us on it it would have the curvature like if you look at the distance and it would yeah. also have a hollow center yeah it solves all three recycle yeah, things it does i'm telling it's you halo. It's a donut. <laughs> Yeah, Halo. Yeah, Halo is a documentary. Oh shit, you're right. Yeah, it's, yeah, Halo. Yeah. it's a Halo shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That makes the most sense, honestly. Yeah. I'm no, I got you. I got all the scenarios preloaded, boys. Don't worry. New personality just dropped. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, Halo Earth. <laughs> yeah, Halo Earth. Oh, yeah, the it's... flood though. The, the flood, flood is what wiped out the previous civilization. Oh, yeah, the shit. Flood. oh the what's the flood? flood? Oh, it's not oh! Water. It, ah! it's a virus. Every, every ah! culture has a flood map. Uh oh, what every happened? Every country does have a flood. Holy map. shit! Oh my god. Wait, I didn't realize Halo was even more based than I thought. The flood. How did, the how arc? did I not realize that? The ark, bro. The ark. Oh, shit. The ark and the covenant. The covenant. The covenant. And the covenant. The ark of the covenant. Oh, my god. So fucking dumb. We're so dumb. Dude, the truth was right there. It was in Halo all along. That's why fucking yeah. the the new Halo trilogy sucks because they fucking they, they weren't basing off of that anymore. They actually had to come up with fiction afterwards after they got done with the real shit. Because that's what that's what you know. How I, I I've been posting about like basically my worldview evolves in terms of which Marvel movie we're on because I firmly believe that, <laughs> that I respect Marvel, that, Jack Parsons, yeah. Iron Man, Captain America, Black They Panther. don't have religion. They have they, uh, media. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, it's and, the biggest religion. Marvel is the biggest religion in America right now. Yeah. 100%. And what, so, what, so what is sad. the new, what is the new Captain America movie going to be called? Uh, new world order. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah. yeah. And the next, so what I see though right now though is Captain America Civil War, which is mm-hmm. Captain America basically faces off against Iron Man. Iron Man is in favor of um, globalist international yeah. control over America, basically. And mm-hmm. Captain America is like, no, that's not what America stands for. We we are responsible to our people and democracy, and he like stands against it. And what are we going to see in 2024 is Iron Man Elon Musk against Trump mm-hmm. Um, mm. because Elon can't run for president. So yeah, he's going to fucking, he's going to support DeSantis, which he's already said. 
yeah. supporting DeSantis. And the Dems are fucking, they're not going to have anyone. It's going to be no, a no, yeah, blowout. Yeah, and yeah, no, and no maybe chance. I would say, I would say I would have like a fairly level of confidence that like the Dems wouldn't get blown out in 2024 if they had lost 2022 definitively. But yeah. because there was no blow off, there's no pressure release for Republicans in the midterms, it's 100% going to be an absolute blowout Republican. Interesting. Whoever the fuck they run in 2024, it's going to be everything that this should have been. Like, bro, you just they, got me the like. The tension killed. is too built up. And this is unnatural too, because they did cheat yeah. at some level. They did cheat, yeah. voting no, they definitely is cheat. cheating. Bro, it, I know it Libs that think they cheated. Rigging. It doesn't have to be rigging, but it is cheating by the mail-in voting because it's never existed before. Listen, and I know, only I know that because of COVID. I know San Francisco Libs who like they cheated, but like they're like, if you're not cheating, then what are you really doing? If it's not a yeah. real buy for power, they, so they I, justify I've heard that, that way. Yes, I've heard so many like actual Libs like make that argument. And I'm like, okay, I accept that. Like, sure, but um. But yeah, no, I you just got me pilled on taking watching Marvel movies low key or high key actually because I'm like, well, let me find the next, let me find the next software update. What are the NPCs? Yeah, no, you on? can literally, yeah. you can literally predict yeah. the future. Just watch the Marvel movies, hundred percent. Like the no, two end game, end game. Yeah, yeah. See that? That's the five. Game. That's the five D chess because they know only fucking left curve and midwits are gonna watch the Marvel movies, and we're all the the right curve are gonna be like, I'm not gonna fucking watch this goy slop and it's a win-win just, for them. i mean and yeah and game is like we're gonna make a decade of for what's going to happen exactly they're exactly yeah, we're gonna make a, uh, a eugenics and environmentalism they mm-hmm. made they made the villain in the new black panther movie like hispanic because well, that's why that's the in, funny thing yeah the, the, because the like hispanics yeah. fighting the blacks i'm like oh my god yeah. i cannot believe damn i wish our son was here to make some sort of the the, the, the <laughs> latinos the latinos shooting kamehameha waves Fighting the black, the black. Um, <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh my god, come on! Oh, yeah. yeah, the next, the next, like uh, front in their like uh, race war gambit is going to be like portraying like Latinos as the, the new white supremacists. Yeah, of course, of course. But, yeah, because yeah. you know, I mean, they, they tried, the Asian, they tried yeah. to stop Asian hate thing, and everyone's like, shut up. And like, no, that works so poorly. No one gave a fuck. They're like, shut up. No one believes you. Yeah. Uh, it's so like no one do- hates Asians. Like literally, literally no one hates Asians. In fact, most ever white women. I, yeah, I've yeah, no. White men fucking despise. <laughs> Only Asians. white women are Asians. But if you try to tell me anyone else does, I'm like, you're a liar. Stop Dude, it. How dare you? Ni- Nike's <laughs> official Twitter account still has hashtag stop Asian hate in the bio. I'm crying. <laughs> yeah, they got rid of the, the true history. Damn. They stopped talking about the void century and then Damn, all of a sudden, I didn't realize Halo was fucking red pilled. Halo has been red. His armor's my You know. Well, what, is, what is he? 117? Like it's like a basically an extension of uh 007, mm-hmm. James Bond, which was the top agent to the queen. But in mm-hmm. reality, that movie made by Ian Fleming who fucking was like, uh, he was very close with Alan Dulles, who founded the OSS, which mm-hmm. then became the CIA. Yeah. So they were best friends. So he made the James Bond movies as puff pieces for mm-hmm. the intelligence agencies. Mm. And the character 007 was based on the Queen's top magician like 300 years ago. His name was John D. He was one of the first like great like British magicians and he would always sign his letters to the queen, which we can still read today. He would always sign them 007 as oh. like the, uh, the, the O's would be eyes. So it's like watching, which is why they have Google and fucking, you know what, uh, you know what Master Chief's real name is? Facebook. You know what Master Chief's real name is? John Halo. It's, it's John 117. Yeah. Oh, it's actually Holy John. It's actually shit. John. Yeah, yeah. It's actually John. Yeah. Yeah. I remember that John from the books. D. It's John yeah. D. Yeah, I remember that from the books. Yeah, it's John. Yeah. So, so yeah, exactly. Uh, and here's the big thing, though, is he would John D. 007, who would he sign all the letters to the Queen, which is James Bond. You know, he's always, you know, he's he's always talking to the Queen or whatever. Mm-hmm. John D. would spy for the queen but not in physical reality he would spy for her by astral projecting he would go outside of his body in like his sleep 
and transpose his body and spy on other countries outside his body at night. That's what the type of spy it's that like, John uh, Dean was. Remote viewing. Remote exactly, viewing. remote viewing. And that's exactly what Project Stargate was about. You, that's an actual like declassified CIA document you can look up, Project yep. Stargate. Mm -hmm. It was about astral getting people to astral project in like very controlled environments. And that is what Stranger Things is based off of. The show Stranger Things is based off of Project Stargate, where they have a lot. I don't know if you guys watched it. No, yeah, no, there's a lot. There's eleven in there. Again. Yes, they they yeah. take her into a fucking into a deep underground base where they put her in a flotation tank and then use her to remote view like different realities and shit. Mm -hmm. And that was that's Project Stargate. If you look up the declassified files, mm -hmm. like it's literally the same thing. And then if you watch the actual science fiction film Stargate. What they show is a physical portal. Where yeah, physical walk portal. Through. Yeah. But in reality, what is the real Stargate? It's through the mind. So again, mm. we're talking about like aliens versus demons type shit. Like that's that's the key of it. Is like yeah, they're traveling through Stargates, which is a, like a metaphysical um, spiritual mm. gate. There's like yeah, it's pr predictive program. Like yeah. possession. You possession. Know, yeah. Or like the Aztecs doing sacrifices for the demons. Yeah, and... yeah. Rip out how how par how powerful of a portal do you think you open up when you rip somebody's heart out on the top of those temples mm -hmm. where you know have you seen the thing where you snap at the bottom of the temple and the echo goes back and forth? Oh no, I never that, you've never seen that. No, I tried to go to the, I literally tried to go to a temple, my fucking girlfriend the acoustics, stopped me. If going. you snap at the bottom of the staircase, mm -hmm. the acoustics reflect at you and it sounds like a like a bird like a bird call. Chir oh, like because it's like chirping. That's kind of cool. yeah. It it like it, it creates yeah. this like yeah. And imagine what would happen if you had at the top somebody getting ritually sacrificed. Mm. Like the amount of like the screams the reverberation and like the reverberation. Yeah, like think of that shit, bro. With like mm. rivers of blood coming down the side of those gigantic temples in South America. Like they were opening up giant stargates for just like the most, you know. <laughs> the yeah. most evil possible emotions you can evoke in humankind at, at one mm -hmm. time like i mean yeah that's pretty much it but that was part of the new wakanda film too that was who they were facing was the yeah they're facing fucking aztecs like what are aztecs yeah yeah and they had it come out on 11 11 right after kanye does his whole wakanda thing mm. i gotta see this I, now i gotta see the film oh, i gotta oh, see what they're gonna oh, they did program. they did uh they put all the all the classic trauma programming things in wakanda like, do you okay. notice, like, yes. I've seen, like, again, like, I don't watch normal TV ever, but, like, <laughs> why, would you, um, why would anyone? But, That's, like, but, like, not retarded. I think I was, oh, I was talking to my buddy last night. You met him, James, my buddy, Matt. You oh, met I love game. Matt. He's, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the yeah. homie. Exactly. He was in Orlando last night, so he got to see the, like, rocket launch, but he also was in the hotel room. He's, like, squatting off his, like, dad's, like, uh, convention, like, work convention hotel room in Orlando. And he's watching the cable TV on the hotel room TV. And he's like, oh, wow. I'm watching like what the normies watch. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> he's like I'm getting, I'm getting CNN. I can see MSNBC. Like, he's like, this is wild. They're like, it's a completely different reality. It really and, is uh, though. I mean, they, like, they just yeah. talk about shit that you just would never, if you haven't watched television for years or like even months, or, like, like if you watching a show separately, is like a little bit different. Like you're like, okay, you kind of put it on and off. If you're not like watching cable TV, you like don't realize like what is like just being fed into people's heads all day. Dude, dude, it's I, it's insane. I was I was in um I was in Philly during the World Series and like I like never watched cable TV, but like we were watching the the, the games there. And, like literally every single ad was either was a political campaign ad for Fetterman or Oz. Like there were no mm -hmm. regular advertisements. It was all just like like um it was all just like political ads being like uh if your 12 year old daughter was raped and wouldn't be able to get an abortion <laughs> like <laughs> who would you vote for the literal <laughs> retard or the republican <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like con concocting these elaborate like they're, they're basically fantasies yeah like pornographic fantasies yeah. that are like being oh, fed into people's heads to make yeah. them do shit or like on twitter how i don't have um trending topics i put it on japanese because i can't understand it you start to realize how little and i have like obviously ad ball and shit like how much messaging is just being like forced into your head mm. if uh if you like don't avoid it actively oh yeah the algorithm will get you so good bro and it's like it's 
crazy at this point because like sometimes I just have to like you know become self-aware and realize like oh my god I'm being fed six different videos of gangs of black guys beating up like mm-hmm. innocent white women <laughs> every day. Isn't that what you want to see? Isn't like, that that moralizing like, Yo, this is content outrageous. you want to see every day? Isn't that like, I'm happy to see you? about this shit. Like I'm getting DMs. Like people are like, I love your account, but bro, I see some of your likes. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck monitors likes? Like that's the most sick of it. Bro, you know what's crazy? Dude, there's so many people <laughs> monitor likes, dude. Dude, like, that's fucking insane. That was a thing. That's dude, insane. Dude, no, no, normal people on Twitter, dude, think of normies. They'll go on and they'll follow five people, bro. They'll bro, go dude, and, dude. And they'll follow five people, and you are all that they all get they on see their feed all day. That's I didn't realize people were monitoring like people treat it reason. like Facebook. People treat it like Facebook, so they got like their 50 people they know from like re- IRL on Twitter. And then if they follow a celebrity, they're seeing they're logging on to Twitter and you're you're their one refresh. Like when yeah. they refresh the whole thing, you're their one message consistently. They see fucking everything. And then the new timeline that shows you all the likes anyway. That's so from weird a big to account. Me because like, they know all of what you're seeing. I follow like 700 and something people. And like that just to me is like, this feels too much. But at the same time, like I have to follow that many for like, for all yeah. the accounts that I want to follow. And then all the people I'm friends with and know, like yeah, I yeah. can't really do any less than this. Well, so because you're like, actually on Twitter. Yeah, it's so it's insane to me that people will just follow like fucking five, ten, a hundred people. Yeah, no, but even if they follow, let's say, I mean, like 150 people, right? Most people aren't tweeting all day that they're following. Yeah, they're not like us. The, the big, yeah, exactly. Dude, the bigger accounts. What, what is it? You saw the stats that came out where they were like, Twitter was talking about like their biggest users that they wanted. Yeah, to they're, they're yeah, the power so user. Tweets, tweets, literally like a couple times three tweets a week. A, yeah. Three tweets a week. Yeah. Three tweets a week? Wait, what's the real? Yeah. What's, yeah. Really? Yeah. That was their oh, like, shit. I, they're like, there's a certain pure demographic of our people. And this is them. They tweet three times a week. Oh shit! <laughs> it's so we're like point oh 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 one percentile. Yeah, <laughs> like, bro, really, if I'm not tweeting three there. times a day. It's a bad day. Yeah, I literally feel bad when I don't tweet more than like three times a day. I'm like, I am just not using my shit today. It's like because I feel like I start thinking about like how many impressions I get. I'm like, I should be using my platform to like at least make money or something. Well, I feel you know bad I mean? because all I do is retweet the podcast. Drew, is there any uh, closing thoughts? or closing statements you would like to make regarding the new world order and everything we've discussed in this three hour epic and if you're listening on youtube like a cuck mkultramoney.gumroad.com get the full three hour episode we went for three hours of so much stuff we can't talk about on youtube because of the georgia guidestones it says in the georgia guidestones you can't be this based on youtube Luckily, they've been blown up. Yes. I'd say don't vote. Based? Yeah. So, yeah. Um, Unlike me, who voted 96 times the other day, but that's okay. I voted yeah, 96 It's never going to fix anything. If it was, if it really did anything, they wouldn't let us do it. Yeah, give up all political help. There is no political solution. The good news is uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, it's, it's really about, uh, I think the most important thing about, like, the overall message I'd like to give people after, you know, doing all the research or whatever I've been doing for the last couple of years is like, uh, is that it really, what's going on outside really doesn't matter whatsoever. If you, um, if you like have, uh, if you focus on yourself, you know, like ultimately you need to focus on setting yourself up for what's happening. If you learn about something that's going to happen, you need to take action on it. If you know hyperinflation is coming, you'll buy Bitcoin in 2017 or whatever. Shit like that. If you can see the economic benefits of certain things, then you'll you'll do it ahead of time and use it to improve your life. Everybody wants to change the world, but nobody wants to change themselves type thing. If you just led by example, so many more people would ask you for your worldview and like ask you why you're acting the way you're acting and like what got you to your success, then you could actually change people's opinions. Otherwise, you're if they don't ask you for it, because you're not being a good example of the supposed truth, you know, if, if what you think mm-hmm. is really so true, then it should, it should be able to show through um, physical benefits and people should be able to like come mm-hmm. to you and ask for it. And that's the only way people ever convert if that's, it's just how it goes. That's true. That's yeah. true.
Well said. You know, Logan Paul, uh, this is some hair. Here's some inside quality, uh, inside information for your gum road that I'm not Ooh. supposed to talk about. Let's go. Logan Paul. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <I'm... laughs> oh, of course he did. I'm crying. <laughs> yeah. But like, yeah, no, that's, uh, yeah, no, that's, that's 100% true facts right there. You want to uh, plug anything, Drew? Um, just uh, just follow me at Drew Tang at home. Um, yeah, that's about it. And obviously, subscribe to the Gumroad, guys. Come on, it's five bucks. Of course, right? come on, stop saying five dollars. What are you doing? Money. Dot gumroad. Dot com. Subscribe. Full three hour episodes. Grip dot shop. Get your merch. That's right. Verse and Lucas podcast. You know, Verse and you, Lucas on everything. When, when you're all caught up on this, then you go yes. to fucking Verse and Lucas and you listen to that. It's the only podcast I'm listening to right now. Facts. Because my own co-host and exactly enough said right there. Simple as mkultramoney.gumroad.com. Now watch this episode with Charles Carroll from MDE. Peace.